Here we have 3.4 solving a distance rate time problem using a system of linear equations. An airplane travels 5,327 kilometers against the wind in seven hours and 6,377 kilometers with the wind in the same amount of time. What is the rate of the plane in still air and what is the rate of the wind? So I'm going to let P equal the rate of the plane in still air. So it's just basically how fast the plane is going by itself. And then I'm going to let W be the rate of um, the wind. Okay, and so then I am going to set up my box like we typically do for these kinds of problems. So we have distance, rate, and time. So distance, rate, and time. And then we're going to have our two situations, which is with the wind and against the wind. Those are the two different scenarios that we have going on here. Okay, so it says the airplane travels this many kilometers against the wind. So that's going to be my distance here. And then in against the wind in seven hours, so I know the time, oh, I know the time with the wind, um, 6377 or 6,377 with the wind in the same amount of time. So that means that both of these are going to be seven, okay? Then I need to fill in here. So if I'm going with the wind, that's gonna help my rate go faster. So this will be P plus W. If I'm going against the wind, that's gonna slow the plane down. So it should be P minus W, okay? It's the same thing if you're talking about the current of water right, or a river or anything like that. If you're going with the current, it's gonna help you speed up, and if you're going against the current, it's gonna slow you down, so you need to use minus, okay? So then now I can put my equations together because I know that distance equals rate times time. So the first equation we have is 6377 equals, um, and I'm gonna put the seven in the front, but time times the rate. It doesn't matter if it's t times r or r times t, it's the same thing, you're still multiplying. Um, we just like, when we distribute, we like the number to be in front. So five, three, two, seven, and then the seven in the front and p minus w. So if I do in fact distribute that seven on both the top and the bottom, I get these two equations. And these are actually already set up for the elimination process. These will cancel. I will get 14p and 6377. Oops. 6377 plus 5327 is 11704. And so then if I take that and divide it by 14, I get 836. So P is equal to 836. So the plane by itself is traveling, and since they're using kilometers and hours, that means the plane is doing 836 kilometers per hour, okay? Um, then now we need still need to figure out how fast the wind is going. So we go back to, and I would, instead of using one of these versions, I would rather like using the one where it's um, already distributed. So I'm going to go ahead and take the top one and I'm going to plug in the P value that we just found. So we get 6377 equals that times 7. And so then I have plus 7W and I'm going to have to minus this over. So 6377 minus 5852 and I get 525 and then I'm gonna have to divide by 7 and so then I get 75 so the wind is traveling 75 kilometers
per hour.